Okay. Yeah, so honestly, it's been a while. So you don't know what the exhaust is? Uh, what kind is it? Because it's coming straight out of the motor, which tells me that it's a modified exhaust, right? You see it with that, right? A what? A carb EO. Oh, the carb? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Everything's legal, so. How do I know that, though, if you don't have the carb EO stickers? I mean, if you're a car person and everything, I, where, where exactly would I put the, the carb? Within the engine department. Yeah. Okay. So where, where would I put that? The, the carb sticker for the exhaust. Getting state wrapped today. All right, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> What's up guys? It's been a while since I picked up this camera. Physically this camera, but I've been doing videos, but not this. I've just haven't picked up this camera in general, but what's up guys and welcome back to another video. If you guys haven't hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button right now. So I wanted to hop on here and give you guys an update on the Subi. So if you guys know or you guys are clicking on this video for the first time, we got state rep in this car and I'ma add like a little preview once the video begins so you guys can see exactly how it went down just a little one minute clip nothing too crazy but it's actually been two months since this baby has not been driven we got state ref in october and now it's been a while so i'm gonna tell you guys what i did in order to get state ref or so i can get get it cleared we actually have an appointment a week oh no wait this Thursday, yeah, a week from today actually. A week from today we have an appointment to go to the state ref up in Sacramento, an hour drive, and hopefully we pass this test so we can get the baby back on the road. I've been driving the M340i, but man, I miss driving this baby. And let me tell you why, because of that. It's stick and turbo noises on this car, it goes crazy, but this is what we did. We actually got taken for the window tint. I removed all the window tint, but the only thing, the glue got stuck on there. Um, I had to get some goo gone. It was terrible to take off because there was a lot of residue. And yeah, I tried my best. There might be still more residue on there, but you know, we'll get over it. We'll clean it later on once it's ready to go. We got the window tint off this one and then the window tint off that one. As you can see, it's not dark at all. Also, look at that. I have a mess in this car, man. I have all this stuff, look. Like, I have all this stock parts on here. So we didn't need the stock intercooler because that's carb legal. We didn't need the stock intake because the aftermarket is carb legal. The only things I needed to change off this car was, let me get the hood open real quick. Oh, and also, I took off my lip and my diffuser from the Subi. Looks pretty. <laughs> what do you guys think? Still looks pretty low, but I just need a lip there, honestly. So, that's carb legal. The, the intercooler intake is still carb legal. AOS is carb legal. And the hood is carb legal, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm joking. My battery doesn't work. I'm gonna need a new one. It doesn't even turn on right now because it's just been sitting here. Either I just need to recharge it or I just need to buy a completely new one. And also, I had a boost control right about down there, somewhere around there. I had a boost control and I take off the, the aftermarket one and put it in the OEM one. That was the pain in the butt to do but we got it done and also i have a bypass valve bypass valve from cob is carb legal so we're good and yeah man it's it's been a hard two months i was actually gonna sell it but i actually don't own a lot of don't own a lot of money on the subi so i'm planning to keep it and then we'll see from there what's going on but as of now i want to enjoy this car because I mean, I've enjoyed it for the past two years that I had it, but I miss this car. I actually put a post on my Instagram that I was gonna sell it. It's crazy how this car has just been sitting here for two months. This car is nice driving it, but at the same time, man, there's always something wrong with it, but we'll get it fixed. Hopefully next Thursday, everything goes as planned so we can get it <laughs> driven and we can get legalized in California, which is, I think is lame, but it's whatever. And also how to reflash my tune to stock tune. So this car is completely stock. 
I did it before and there were some problems with it. There, there were some problems with the stock tune. I was getting check engine lights. My engine was idling so bad, but I found out what it was. It was a PCB disconnected and it was this hose right about, it was, where is it at? I can't find it. Oh, it's this hose right there. That one right there with the white thing. It was disconnected. So it was this hose right here. This one right here. Completely disconnected for some reason. The stock tune, I got a check engine light. The custom tune, I got no check engine light. Check engine light. And that was a problem. But we figured it out. I had to fix my bags because they're clicking. But everything else is going good except for the battery. So I'm completely pumped to get this car back in the road. Wish me got wish me luck. Cause I'm gonna need it. I'm like low-key nervous. I feel like something because they're gonna do a smog check and then they're gonna do like the noise noise check. So it's gonna be two different appointments and two different things, I guess. But yeah man. I'm just anxious. I'm anxious. Nervous. Who wouldn't be nervous? It's gonna be like 120 bucks to get it done. And then I can finally get this baby back on the road. So in total fines for everything, the state ref, I guess um, speeding ticket, no window tent, the window tent, and then having no license with me at, at the time, everything came up to one ticket, cause I got pulled over twice in that day. One ticket was $890. The second ticket was $350. So that's a lot of money, but most of them are correctable so i might be going out down to like 300 baby but those fines are not owed until march so yeah man the baby is ready to go super excited hopefully we can get the i mean obviously i'm gonna record the state ref when it goes down but i'm just i'm just i just wanted to be thursday already hopefully we can charge that battery or we can get something I'm just buying a new one. But if you guys enjoyed this little video, nothing too crazy. I just wanted to give you guys an update on why, what's going on. It's been like two months just sitting here, man. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And see you guys in the next video.